On August 11th, engineers at the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety Research Center in South Carolina conducted a first-of-its-kind test. This test of a full-scale house demonstrates the importance of minimizing water intrusion through the roof deck when the primary roof cover is damaged by high winds in a hurricane. Wind-driven water from hurricanes causes hundreds of millions of dollars of damage to homes each year. When hurricanes make landfall, that figure can rise well into the billions of dollars. For test purposes, IBHS researchers built a 1,300-square-foot, single-story duplex building with construction features common in many hurricane-prone areas. The critical difference between the two sides was that one had a sealed roof deck and the other did not. The duplex was furnished on both sides with lights, ceiling fans, furniture, carpeting, and laminate flooring. The duplex test structure was moved from the construction area into the research center's massive 21,000 square foot test chamber. Researchers used the lab's 105, 350 horsepower fans to subject the house to several test sequences with high-speed, multi-directional, gusty winds and prolonged exposure to rain typical during a hurricane. Once the roof cover was blown off, researchers ran a wind-driven rainstorm simulation for just over an hour, which included rain at a rate of up to 8 inches of water per hour, a very typical hurricane scenario. This side of the duplex does not have a sealed roof deck, so there's no tape in between the pieces of roof sheathing, sheathing being typically plywood or OSB. There's no tape between those seams. Right behind me, the ceiling in the kitchen has just collapsed in, in top of the kitchen. In the dining room, the chandelier is down, the ceiling is collapsed. This is a lot of damage. This is the side of the house that has the sealed roof deck. Pieces of roof sheathing, typically plywood or OSB, the seams in between those pieces have been taped, preventing a lot of the water from coming in. We have a small amount of water coming in. The amount of damage in this side is remarkably less than the other side of the duplex. Options for homeowners to seal their roof deck include closed cell foam adhesive and modified bitumen tape, which is applied over the seams of the roof deck. Sealing the roof deck will go a long way toward keeping wind and water out of your home. What we saw today on the side of the duplex with no tape on the seams, without the sealed roof deck, was water streaming in, cascading. It looked like it was raining inside as well as outside. And as a result, we've seen a tremendous amount of damage. If a family lived in that home without the sealed roof deck, they would be out of that home for many, many weeks, potentially even many months. For more information on how to seal your roof deck, go to www.disastersafety.org.